here I am in the kitchen, my teeny little kitchen. <laughs> and it's open to the air. I'll have to do some other footage to, to splice in for that. Close-ups here. This is my high gas grill. There's the camera set up. Okay, let me. So this is the extent of the kitchen. As you can see, it's open air, but there's a curtain there for the rain. So that's why I can have a gas grill in here. And it's closed off from the rest of the space. And uh, I'm going to cook a, uh, like kind of a favorite meal for me. Some frozen, I'm going to stir fry some frozen vegetables and uh, burger patties. Very simple, quick coconut oil. Very easy to, easy and inexpensive here in uh, Thailand. A couple tablespoons worth should do it. Frozen vegetables about there, you can, uh, the best way to do frozen veggie and Frozen veggies are good for uh, single people living alone. You buy fresh, then you end up wasting a lot of it, typically. That, at least that's my experience. Um, tomatoes I don't put in the fridge because that's an unpardonable sin. Um, and uh, Thailand has uh, kind of, a, it's like a Roma variety of tomato. Um, and uh, they actually have some taste to them um, so that in itself is good and of course some French butter unsalted okay the vegetables are readying a state keep it on high high price setting part of it is getting rid of moisture they're starting to smell good. Seasoning is just salt and pepper. Okay. And I'm going to want to toss some butter in there. So you mix that all around. Turn it off. Cover it. Make sure that your lid off and covered. Those will sit just fine. And put the patties on with a hole poked in the center. You poke a hole in the center of your burger patties then they won't shrink and get that big in the center. They'll tend to be a little bit more long. Typically, we'll see how these work. So for thin burgers, <clears throat> not so much the very thick ones, but for thin burgers, if you want a medium, uh, the way to do it is you wait you wait until you start getting melted fat on the top and that's when it's time to flip them up. Pull them apart. Season the other side a little bit. Place of the garlic powder this time I'm gonna a little cayenne.
Yes, I flip them frequently here just to get that char grilled stuff. They'll be ready to come off in just like 30 seconds. A little mustard with that, and that's not too bad. Let me do it this way. Not too bad, huh? Pretty quick. And mm, I think the vegetables need some cayenne.